So everybody's welcome. Thank you very much. And then it's actually, I want you all to comment on concrete cases. So here it's actually, yeah, it, we have from the audience. Yes, let me introduce because I know that both Scania and Ericsson, you also wanted to share concrete cases or so just have a quick round here. Is that okay? Uh, no, but uh, um, linking to what I said earlier, uh, I think the most concrete and the most uh, straightforward example is when we introduce bus rapid transport systems in the mega cities of the south. Uh, this is where we have to think function, we have to think system, we have to think social. And one concrete example is the capital of Ghana, Accra, where, uh, you know, despite tremendous challenges, we succeeded to, to support them in setting up a bus rapid transport system, uh, which hitting almost all the SDGs uh, uh, when, when, when doing it, putting in buses that, that is much better for, from county perspective, but also the training, uh, drivers, service and maintenance, ticketing, infrastructure system, getting all these players together, putting in the system, but also harmonize and help the local existing transport system to, to link into the system. Not destroying jobs and livelihoods, but actually improving them. And as an uh, uh, extra bonus, we decided to focus on female drivers in our training uh, facilities, uh, not only to help with uh, gender equality, uh, but also to substantially increase road safety in the system. Thank you very much. And Ericsson, if you wanted to share. Thank you so much, Andreas. Uh, so actually, going along with that one, and also with going back to Jennifer's point, that um, we actually have a case together with also Scania in Chile about how you can use buses and trucks to monitor air quality together with IoT equipment and a good uh, network for the city, for the right, um, network. And you know that's a new way of monitoring also the health system in a more rapid way. Um, and together, yeah, you know, Ericsson have a lot of solutions to also go back to a bit more developing case is also how you can use IoT sensors to monitoring mangrove forest where, for example, we have a case in, in Malaysia and the Philippines where the local population saw that around 30% of the mangroves that were replanting into the wild like to create a better ecosystem were not surviving, like there was only 30% surviving. Um, but with IoT solutions, you can actually increase the rate up to 80% which is a big impact for the local environment, the ecosystem, the local farmers that also improve their fish catches, you have bird, you know, increased bird um, systems, and also uh, looking at more SDGs and developing within the society. So I think that's uh, a few of the cases a bit different, but we also have other ones to discuss. Thank you, and I just need to ask you now for the, for the ministry, when you need to leave, do we still have time for yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have a question from the audience, or actually you are part of the delegation, so please. I am part of the delegation. I'm part of the delegation. I'm a Swedish entrepreneur working for Agenda 2030. In uh, China, we are doing build, own, operate, transfer mode. Based with the same finances, we can also now find within one road, one belt to do thermal energy storage. We balance renewables to the grid, utilize different peak value period electrical pricing to compete with coal. And this uh, year, we have now in three years increased our turnover 15 times through innovative business modeling using existing 100 year old Swedish technology, high voltage electrical boilers, where we now replace coal fired district heating in urbanized areas, reducing emissions. Now, I'm also involved in another company, Ecobarge Sweden, which is an interesting project. I presented it to ABB CEO in Vietnam, and, and you said, 
sorry, but if you want to buy a transformers, it will be very interesting. That's why we now use Huawei. Uh, we also wanted to introduce Ericsson to this. Uh, also Huawei will be the supplier for the communication. Now, the problem, I think, for us, we are coming as a swarm of mosquitoes instead of listening to the customers, providing turnkey solutions, incorporating local operation and production where possible, providing platform for Swedish innovations with project financing. So we are too scattered in our approach. We need to start listening to our customers and provide turnkey fully financed with project financing. Now this does not require subsidies from Swedish government. The project finances are abundant. We only need to perform the feasibility, receive government support for introducing it. Right now we're introducing projects where we reduce uh, electric consumption 30% when doing desalination and water treatment. We have projects both for a big famous river in India and China that we're studying at the moment. And we're doing energy storage, we're doing floating solar power and wind power, two in turnkey solutions where we incorporate local production. So we need to learn from the Chinese because right now, as it's difficult for Sweden to come with a common approach, for my Swedish project, I now use one road, one belt project finances, the same investors we use in our plants in China, in order to, and this means I need to use design institutes from China instead of Afri. I need to use Boy instead of Ericsson ABB, just because we don't have a common strategy focusing on innovative business models rather than technologies, because the technology is already there. It's a matter of making the, the technologies available to the people who can afford it. We can do that through build on operate transfer mode. We can learn from the Chinese, we can compete with them, but we need to make a common action. And I would really appreciate, at any time, wherever, I would really appreciate to come and give you examples, both of the concrete project and the innovative business models. For the Swedish innovation companies, we now scale up through organic growth with positive cash flow. The company Elfone Technique increased 15 times in three years. We don't even use a share credit. Thank you the very much for this very important insights and actually see more hands from the audience now but we also need to make sure to have the civil society say a final word and then to let Jonas and the ministry just say one concluding thing so I'm so sorry but it's really important to have the civil society no pressure <laughs> uh, two, two short comments uh, the first one is within WWF uh, we have something called the One Planet City Challenge uh, where we have worked with this year over 250 cities to do their data reporting, to transparently report their data. Uh, right now we are in the process of assessing that data to see how closely they are aligning with the 1.5 degree target in the Paris Agreement and then after that we will be supporting and guiding them on suggestions including many of these technologies that I think will be re very relevant for that. And then maybe the final point, uh, you know, this is a very complicated issue when we talk about climate change, we talk about governance, everything. Our motto at WWF is together possible, and I think this is what I have really taken out of this, uh, that we have some fantastic solutions in the Nordics, also some fantastic solutions outside, and I think when we start to talk about collaborative learning, this is where we uh, can have a more positive future. Thank you very much. And, and Jonas, do you want to maybe say a few any words? Yeah, I can yeah. also say that it's been a good discussion and we have also an example where we try to summarize our thoughts related to city development in a book called Predictive and Unpredictable. So you can pick one if you want to. There are some great solutions of how you can think in circle economy, different solutions for taking on the challenge with these huge cities growing up. So that's something that you can pick. Otherwise, I think it's been a great discussion and we are looking forward to continue the discussions on all the solutions we can find. So, thank you. Thank you very much, Jonas. And maybe the Ministry, you want to... Yeah, yeah I can just say a few words. I, I, I all agree. It was a very good discussion. And I think we need more, much more of it. Uh, I think maybe the best thing we have to uh, uh, give to, to, to the world is that we are thinking maybe more than many others in system solutions in Sweden and uh, that is a, an advantage and a possibility and uh, I, um, uh, I want to give you an example as you <laughs> did 
we are working with uh, in international development with many super interesting projects. One one thing is that uh, you know 600 million Africans in South of Africa does not have electricity yet, and uh, there, there is uh, big projects around Power Africa is one uh, mold, and, and we are working a lot with SIDA and, and uh, together with uh, 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 local business companies. Um, to create uh, off-grid system solutions, uh, small solar panels, a mobile telephone, and that uh, creates a, an extremely uh, 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 potential and opportunity for many people, from the Maasai people in Kenya to to, to people in, in the uh, uh, rural areas of Zambia. Uh, that is uh, something that is uh, very interesting. Local grids, off-grid systems, and, and also I would like to see that Ericsson comes in and works uh, uh, a lot more on building new modern uh, mobile systems that could uh, uh, help uh, people in the central Congo, for example, to be part of the new modern world. And, and that is also a solution in many ways for sustainability and en energy solutions to, to stop uh, taking so much uh, uh, wood, for example, in, uh, from, from the forest, and, and use the modern solutions in this. Well, that's just another way of thinking in, in this uh, energy area. Thank you. So, thank you very much for attending and participating, and we are looking forward to continue the dialogue when we are back in, in Sweden. So, thank you very much, everyone, for coming and taking part. And please, you should take the book. <laughs> Det är det. 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 Det är det.